Friday Says. My name is Christine and this is Christine Says A Lot. If you want to find more sewing vloggers, you can search the YouTube search bar for Friday Sews and find more sewing vloggers to follow. Today I'm going to talk about what I've been working on, working on a little bit, some sewing challenges, and give you an update to my sewing room. I've come to the realization that with most of my sewing tools, materials, and so forth, inaccessible, and I'll start a picture to show you what I mean, I need to change my expectations. A couple of weeks ago, I had talked about the Oakland top that I was making for my granddaughter and my niece for their birthdays, and I said I couldn't imagine what would keep me from finishing them. Well, obviously, I did not have a very good imagination. First, I couldn't find my serger pedal. Then I couldn't find my white serger thread. I do not want to buy more when I have some. So I had to take a step back and decide I can do what I can do now. Pretty soon my sewing room is going to be set up and then I can knock some things out. So here's the top, the progress so far. This is a fully lined bodice on this top and I have pinned my flutter sleeves to the main fabric. I made sure not to pin it to the lining. The lining is here. I'm going to sew the sleeve on at a quarter inch seam allowance and then I'm going to attach the lining right sides together with the top using the burrito method and I'll have a nice clean finish at the armholes. So I'm working on what I can work on now and I'm just choosing to be happy with that. So I've got two of these that I'm gonna be working on this week and I'll get as far as I can get with what I have accessible. The next garment that I'm gonna be working on is connected to the challenge I wanted to tell you about. Adam from Adam Sews and Lisa from One Lisa Show are sponsoring a challenge in the month of June. It is called He Made June 2022. And the challenge is to create an awareness to the lack of modern styled patterns for men and boys. So for the challenge in the month of June, you're to sew up a garment for a boy or man in your life and post it to Instagram. I'm going to link Adam's video in the end cards where you can get all the information about this challenge. And there are prizes. I am doing this because one, yes, I do love a prize, but also I want to support this challenge because a couple of years ago, there was a lot of support in the entire sewing community for expanding pattern sizes making them more size inclusive. And I personally have benefited from that. So I feel strongly about supporting Adam in this challenge. Also, I have been challenged myself. I have two sons and three grandsons, and there's just not a great variety of things to sew for them. Now my granddaughter, it seems like it's infinite the possibilities of what I can sew for her. So month of June, other than finishing those two Oakland tops by Violet Field threads, I am going to be sewing for the men in my life. And just in time for the challenge, I received the wardrobe by me pattern summer pants and shorts. I saw Rachel from Stitched Ups pants that she made for her husband Martin and I thought that would look really nice on Charlie so I ordered the pattern and it came about a week ago. So I am going to be making the shorts first so I can test out the sizing and see how Charlie likes the fit and the pocket placement and so forth. And I'm going to deconstruct a garment that I have not worn to use to make the toile for the shorts. This sad sack of potatoes is my version of the Sophia dungarees by Tilling the Buttons. And this just was not the pattern for me. 
I kind of suspected it when I looked at the pattern, but I was seeing so many beautiful makes. I wanted to try it for myself. I think that one, I made this one size too big and that affected where the straps would fit my body. And I just don't think this is the style for me. So even after I went and fixed it and I got it so it would be wearable, I've not worn this. I wore this to take some photos and never again. And this is really nice linen that I purchased from the fabric store. So, and you can tell, I have got loads of fabric here. I mean, look how wide these pants legs are. Another reason why I just wasn't wearing this. So I'm going to unpick my Sophia dungarees and that'll give me plenty of fabric to twall the summer shorts by Wardrobe by Me for Charlie. Now I have some other boy sewing to do this month. We have happy news. We've got three new babies coming this summer, all boys. So I'm going to be sewing up some John Johns. I love to give this as a gift to close family members for a new baby. I'm going to insert a photo here of one that I've made before. And I think I'm going to do a tutorial for this. Let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in seeing a tutorial for sewing a John John and how to modify the pattern to put the snaps in at the crotch for easy diaper changing. So I know I'm going to be making some of those because I'm going to see two of my cousins this summer. We're going to be summering together on the Cape for a week and I want to have the gifts to bring with me and the other ones for my nephew and I'll probably have to post that in the mail. In addition to the John Johns, I have some mini Hudson pants and one pair of Hudson pants that have been cut out and some of them partially constructed, some of them only picked out the fabric. And I thought I was gonna make these this winter. I thought I would be making them during the time we were selling the house so I was showing the house, packing up the house. I did not make much progress. This is a really easy sew, and my grandsons in particular have been wanting the pants, and they've asked me about them a couple of times. I need to get them finished. So now that I have my serger pedal located, and pretty soon I'll have the sewing room set up, I hope to get those whizzed up in the month of June. For the sewing room update, finally our flooring has come in. We initially thought that it would be about two or three weeks from when I put the deposit for the flooring in order for them to order the floor coverings to when they would be able to schedule the install. Well, instead it was two months. So there have been so many projects on hold for the entire house because we have three rooms where we're changing the floor covering. We're putting carpet in the guest room, we're putting luxury vinyl tile in the sewing room, and we're putting ceramic tile in our sunroom. So we have the hallway outside of my sewing room stored with mattresses and assorted things. And we have a couple of rooms that are overloaded with boxes and furniture while we keep the other rooms empty in anticipation of the floor covering. So it's been a little bit of a long time living like this. We did take advantage of the time to paint this room the blue color. And then on the other side of this wall is attic space that runs the length of the wall and a little bit past. And uh, we painted that a yellow. Charlie did the ceiling and the walls, just a quick coat to freshen up the attic space. So I am thankful that we were able to uh, get that done while we waited for the floors. But it has meant that things have gone into the attic, out of the attic, back into the attic, and it's not been very accessible for sewing. 
but no more wham 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 crying about that because I'm getting a fantastic sewing room. The other good news is the table I ordered from Flexispot is supposed to come today via FedEx. I ordered a 72 inch long table that is height adjustable and I'm going to be able to put two sewing machines and a serger on the table and I think that's going to be a bit of a game changer for me. Charlie and I have put together two calyx units which are going to be part of the cutting table so that will be constructed. I haven't wanted to buy too many materials for some of these projects since we don't have a lot of storage space and we're already feeling like we're living in an untidy house. We like to keep things tidy and it's just not restful to have all of the stuff stacked and stored. So after the floors go in, I'm going to Lowe's with the gift card I got for Mother's Day for my son and I'm going to purchase the other materials that I need to construct the cutting table. I can see everything coming together, which is so exciting, especially since I've gone so long without being able to be as productive as I wanna be and to sew all the beautiful things I wanna sew. So I'm excited and I'm chomping at the bit to get sewing. I don't feel like I've lost my sojo because I've had a deep desire to sew, but I haven't wanted to go on an extensive hunt in the storage attic here to look for the various things that I need to sew. I'm just not interested in pulling a bunch of things out so I can climb back and get what I need. I think the better plan is to work on what I can work on now with what is accessible and just to wait because very soon, very, very soon, I'm gonna be up and operational and be able to work more efficiently. So that's what's going on in my sewing room. Check out Adam's video, see more about the challenge. And until next time, I hope you have a joyful week and that you find the good in all things, especially sewing. Thank you.